How to get your ex back easily. This video will show you how to get your ex-boyfriend back easily and it's not gonna be generic advice that most videos are kind of poisoning you with. That doesn't mean that they're bad, but let's be real here. Getting your ex back doesn't have to be hard. It's actually really simple and straightforward when you just have good information that explains it clearly. So that's what you're gonna get. I'm giving you a three-step action plan to flip the script on your ex, give him a taste of his own medicine because he deserves it. I mean, I don't know if he deserves it. He probably deserves it. And give him a taste of his own medicine. And I'm gonna reveal my active engagement strategy that ensures you don't screw up and there is a crucial time after a breakup where you actually can lose him forever so gotta give you that to make sure you don't screw that up hello it's Aaron your personal ex back love expert who is back again on the channel where we make men make sense I know you love your ex I'm gonna help you at least maximize your shot if you do want to learn how to get your ex back easily then write I'm ready right now, literally right, I'm ready in the comments down below while the intro plays. So I've been asked so many times to do this video, a strategy on how to get your ex back, so I decided to do it and I hope you guys enjoy, but because I did you guys that favor and did the video, you should do me a favor, give this video a like, thumbs up, if you like anything about me, what I'm wearing, even if you don't like it. So if you hate what I'm wearing, if you love what I'm wearing, if you don't really even care, give this video a like, because it really does help spread this message by letting YouTube know to recommend this video to more people. I really just want you guys to not do things that are difficult and gonna fail when it comes to getting your ex back. So just bear with me because you're gonna be okay. I just wanna say that to you before I go to step one. You're gonna be okay. I know you might not feel that right now, but you will. And the step you first wanna take is obviously analyze who broke up with who. So if he broke up with you, the only thing to do is no contact. So this works because I'm assuming you didn't break up with him. I mean, if you did, then I'm gonna have to give you different advice. If you're the one that broke up with him, you could probably get him back. I mean, unless he cheated on you with like four of your closest friends and you know, your mother and cousin. I mean, you know, I'm assuming he broke up with you or that it was mutual and the relationship fizzled out or something happened or regardless, you're in pain right now. He broke up with you or the relationship died. The only solution right now is no contact. The only thing to do. So no contact is for you as well. So it's to detox your mind from the stuff that will sabotage. Okay, listen very carefully sabotage your ability to get back together. Because most people, especially at first, they'll obsess over the breakup, feed into those thoughts of negative thinking about him. It makes you wanna contact him. It makes no contact painful, and then you fail, and for no contact to work, to really get him back, guess what you have to do? Like a drug addict has to detox off of drugs to ever have a happy, stable life. You've gotta detox emotionally, cleanse yourself, your soul, your mind, your brain of those negative and emotionally draining thoughts. He decided that he doesn't want to be with you. Now, if you want to get an ex back, and the way to get an ex back is never going to be something that you can rush. So don't try to rush him. So right now, he is kind of emotionally moving in the direction of wanting to be broken up with you. And if you engage with him right now in any way, you will make him feel that feeling stronger. You'll cement the feeling of wanting to break up with you and you will make it stronger. You'll feed that feeling. If you feed into your desire to engage, you feed his feeling of wanting to be done with you. It gets stronger and things will get worse and worse and he will pull away more and more. Trust me on this one. I don't want this to happen to you. The only and best thing is no contact to detox the relationship, hit the reset button on his emotional state so that he's reaching for you again. And I will explain in a moment the psychology behind what he experiences when you do the no contact rule, why it makes him want to kind of come back and refresh. And I first need to explain this part though, because it's so important. This is very important. Right now your instincts are guiding you the wrong way and you shouldn't be in contact with him. He's in a bad emotional state and so are you. 
you need to get yourself right first and avoid contact with him, which will make things worse right now. The big idea overall is you're gonna get stronger while, while he gets weaker. So here's how you're gonna be getting stronger. Is it by sitting and eating Ben and Jerry's? Although I love Ben and Jerry's cookie dough, obsessed. That's not the solution. How do you act? What do you do? So other than stop feeding into the thoughts of the breakup, the relationship, getting him back, don't feed into the thoughts. Don't feed into the memories. Don't let the memories consume you. The big rule, the big secret, the big perspective is you don't feed into thoughts about him, the relationship, the breakup, the thoughts come up, you let them pass like meaningless clouds, you stop feeding into them so the detox actually starts working. But wait, fine. So you stop feeding into the thoughts, you really put a concerted effort, it's gonna be something you work on and that's okay. But what are you putting your attention toward instead? That's where a lot of so-called experts kind of lead you wrong and make you fail. You're not gonna magically be a person that wins him back just because you haven't talked to him, remember that. But at least if you're doing no contact, you're gonna stir up a curiosity in him and he'll start to say, okay, what's she doing? A woman once came to me completely sobbing hysterically saying, I haven't contacted him for 98 days. I literally even gave him his dog back and I definitely did not even, you know, stalk him with a fake Instagram account. I stopped for 98 full days, but it was painful and I wanted to talk to him every second of it. That is not no contact that will help you. It'll literally do nothing but keep you stuck in the same place. So get my ex tips literally only help if you, yes, do no contact first, but the best advice to get an ex back and Breakup advice, covering how to get him back, cannot end at no contact, da dun dum So this next part is crucial and will be very, very, very game changing for you. You wonder why your no contact is failing? Well, because you needed step two, active time during no contact. Active time, what does it mean? Okay, so first I just wanna explain the significance before I tell you what it means. Knowing this is the difference between you being more appealing to him and not. And the active time makes you better to be around and your ex will probably notice. Now, can't guarantee because yes, it is gonna be your best chance, but the active engagement strategy will put you in your best winning position. It's like a sports match. Not saying you should compare this to a basketball game, but you can't guarantee an outcome of something. You have to play the game, have a strategy, go in it to win. You put the odds in your favor. I'm stacking the odds in your favor with the active engagement strategy. So you really should come to a realization that you're working on yourself. It's active, that's all it means. It doesn't mean you're working out, although that's a great thing to do, but it doesn't mean that. All it means, and I'm gonna explain a story that illustrates what active time is not. It's actually a very personal story, which I normally don't share at the end, but it will illustrate it perfectly. But first, I wanna get you all the action steps so we have a winning perspective, a plan, because that is what is going to get you results. How you feel on the inside matters. When you feel happy on the inside, you can live in a way that feels happy, regardless of whether you're with him or not, that will help you be attractive to him. You're not only not feeding into misery, but you're putting your energy toward bringing yourself up, your mood up, your mood is your love magnet, but even more important is that relationships don't make you happy. What actually happens is they reflect the happiness you already feel on the inside back to you. Now, I wanna point something out here because there is one thing that basically makes the difference between your love life being easy, effortless, amazing, exactly what you wanted, or problems always happening. You're constantly fearful that you're losing him, he's losing interest, nothing makes sense, you're heartbreaking. Okay, what's that one thing that makes all the difference, including with your ex, no matter what the situation? Perspective. It's having the right perspective in your love life and when you have the right perspective everything makes sense you understand what's going on in his mind you do what works automatically it's effortless your love life plane works it finally works and you're happy and maybe for the first time you get to actually enjoy it now maybe this is the first video you've ever watched by me if so hello and maybe you already have watched 
all my videos and subscribe to this channel and you watch all of my videos. But I wanna point out that what I'm really showing you when you subscribe to this channel is what the perspective is that really makes your love life effortless, easy, and just plain work the way you've always wanted it to. So if you want a happy relationship, show up happy and understand what living a happy life looks like for you, independent of having a relationship. You're going to have a happy life. You're gonna live happy, do things you love, spend time with friends, family, hobbies, find ways to make yourself feel inspired and fulfilled, write a journal, go kickboxing, do anything you want. You know, do animal rescue. I love animals, so animal rescue is something that would be an amazing thing. And it'll put you in touch with something that's meaningful that isn't related to him. So how do you do active time? It's really simple. Just be engaged with what you need to feel good. Be on the path toward making you feel good. It might be simple things, silly things, ridiculous things. It doesn't matter. Make a list right now in the comments. Tell me my beautiful, beautiful person out there who's watching. I want you to tell me what are your goals? Small achievable goals. What are you gonna do in this active time? I want to know. We support each other as a community. It is a very essential part of the no contact and we will hold each other accountable for the goal. So write it now and I am waiting for your comments. Do not, do not ignore that please. I said, please. Now, don't be worried if it doesn't work immediately because yes, you are gonna feel better eventually, but time is essential and it does heal all wounds. And right now I know that you feel stuck, like you're broken and in this endless pit of just aching heartbreak. And I know it might even seem impossible. You can never forget the man that you love. You need him back. You think you'll be hooked in the situation forever. Well, you won't. I know it feels that way, but sooner or later, you'll be okay. You'll find yourself again. And I want to give you step three of the strategy because the strategy is going to be essential for you to have clarity and emotional peace. So give him the space to contact you because he probably will while you're living your happy life. Waiting is very smart for a few reasons. First, it's more powerful if he reaches out. He's the one doing it. And it's not like you're reaching out or trying to make something happen and very, very powerful. And number two, it will make it more likely that he will get back together with you because guess what he's going to think? It's all his idea. He's the one who's putting an effort because of his own feelings inside, motivating him to act. He will have his own inner motivation to win you back and pursue you. No contact allows the man who you love and miss to have his process. I'm going to lay it out for you right now. Now, so here's the process. You don't want to interrupt it or you won't end up in a situation where he'll even think of getting back together. So you give him space so this process can happen. First, he misses you. Then he wonders if he's lost you. Then he seeks reassurance he hasn't lost you. And he will seek reassurance when you do not contact to make sure he still has you. He'll put this feeler out there. He'll put it out. Hey, is she still waiting for me? Is my sure thing there? Will she take me back? Uh, if you don't respond and are not clearly waiting, then guess what? He's going to start to doubt the fact that he has you as a sure thing. Uh-oh. If... If he thinks he's lost you, then what happens? One of two things, he either lets you go or makes a strong play to get you back. And you know this is happening if he's directly or indirectly trying to get your attention, you know, suddenly starts to bump into you or you see him more often because why? He wants the reassurance that he still has you. You flip the script, yay! I love it. But seriously, allow him to reach for you. Do not interrupt his process or reach out to him. Don't give him the impression or say, I'll wait for you forever. I wish I could play a song for you guys right now. Lana Del Rey, Dark Paradise. This is a song that I love, one of my favorite songs ever. Make fun of me, I don't care. I love Lana Del Rey and Dark Paradise. But that idea though, that you're waiting forever, I'll always be here no matter what. Oh my God, I love you so much. Don't do that. No, when he starts putting his feelers out, this is when you starve him of that even like one morsel of reassurance. You don't give him reassurance at all. That is a fact. Please don't, really don't do anything but what I just told you. Don't ever say, in those initial feelers. Oh, I'm so happy you reached out. I miss you so much. I love you so much. Oh my God. And then he's like, oh, I have her. Who cares? Boom, done, process dead. On the other hand, you cannot force 
anything. Let him come to you and then don't give him reassurance. It'll be powerful. The tables will turn, start going in your favor. You have to let it happen though. And if he doesn't contact you, I honestly wouldn't contact him. I mean, you should basically assume he's fine with losing you. So I guess you could contact him if you wanna do like some kind of a crazy finale. I mean, I can probably help you come up with something funny, but you have to be emotionally healed and realize it's basically over and move on with your life instead. Contacting him once is fine, but it's really not gonna be something you can just keep doing. Now, it's a trap to be in a state where you're kind of waiting to end no contact and then he reaches out to you. Here's why. It's a trap because you're gonna probably let your instincts guide you to reassure him. Reassuring him, I know it might feel natural for you, right? But the fact is, at best, he'll end up wishy-washy and non-committal about getting back together, and at worst, he'll just date other women, knowing you're his backup plan. So I want you to be very clear about this. If a relationship conversation does come up, you can say something like, the breakup was hard for me too, but I've accepted it, and I've accepted that I'm 100% single now. And if he's being vague about the possibility of getting back with you or seeing you, then you can say, well, the breakup has been hard for me, and..." Getting to a good place inside has been tough. If you're saying you want to get back together, we can have a conversation about it. Just clear. And if he says anything that implies he doesn't want a relationship or that he's not sure, you can say, I understand. This stuff is emotional and heavy. If you're not sure what you want, I totally understand. And that's perfectly okay. But please understand that unless you decide you want to be in a relationship with me, we should not be in contact. I kind of cringe saying the last part, we should not be in contact, but you got to kind of lay down the law. So the big understanding here is that you are not going to convince him to come back. He will convince himself to come back because he knows he will lose you if he doesn't. Giving him space, though, will set up what makes him come around and the space is going to be magical. Now, keep in mind, if he understands that you've accepted the breakup and that you understand yourself to be single 100% and he's okay with losing you, then that was your signal. He was never going to commit to you in the way you wanted in the first place. And yes, it's disappointing, but it's a gift. And honestly, you're going to be surprised by just how powerful this is when you use this three-step approach. It will help you so much and you're just bringing yourself back to feeling happy and okay inside while giving him space does all the rest of the work for you and then this is a very 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 sad truth that I have to kind of end with so I want you to know that you're making a mistake in your love life, especially if you're feeling emotional and confused and lost right now and you don't know it because your instincts when you're in this state, they're tricking you. They're literally guiding you off a cliff of nothing but pure pain. You're gonna end up continuing this cycle. So what if you had a personal love expert um, who was there at the exact moment when you needed it, who could give you answers to any problem with men and save you from making the wrong move. Okay, so we get so many comments these days and you know I try to reply to everyone and still will, but I wanted to create a private group where you can get individual attention from me to help with whatever you're dealing with in your love life so you can get the love life you really want. No problems, no confusion, no heartache or heartbreak. Now, space is limited, but if there's still space available, Available, you can connect with me in the insider group vixeninsider.com. That's vixeninsider.com. I would love for you to join and, and I really want to get to know you better. So let me know, guys, with your questions, anything you want to ask me about, no contact. Come join the Vixen Insider group. You'll really get a lot of help from that because it really is a very hard feeling to not be able to contact the person you were so used to and that you were so in love with. And I really do want to say that I'm really sorry that you're suffering right now. And I really want you to know that you're not alone. I'm serious though. I'm here for you and you're not going to always feel this way. You're a very good person and you will see light at the end of this tunnel. I really promise you that, and I will be there for you the entire way, okay? And I really appreciate the ongoing support, you guys. I love you all so much, and I really can't explain what a kick I get out of seeing you guys get the kind of results that I've seen you get. So I'm very excited about where the future will take us together. Love you all. See you next time.